I'm Doug. Welcome to Backcountry Pilgrim. Today I am talking about how many backpacks is too many. I'm a member of a lot of hiking groups on Facebook, and the other day someone posted the fact that they had just bought their fifth or sixth backpack, and they wanted to know if they had a problem. Now, because it was a hiker page, of course, most of us said, no, absolutely not. In fact, the problem may be that you don't have enough. But I do think the question is a fair one, because to non-specialists, it may seem insane to have more than a couple of backpacks. But that's just true of any specialty. My wife is both a professional cake baker, I'm talking like cake boss level baking, is also an ASE certified mechanic. So my kitchen and garage are full of unusual tools, many of which seem completely redundant to someone like me who doesn't really like to do that kind of stuff. The first thing that people usually notice when they walk into my office is my book collection, which probably seems pretty extensive to someone who is not in the academic field. So when it comes to backpacks, the same thing happens. There are different packs for different purposes, and until you understand those different purposes, they can seem rather ridiculous to keep. Personally, I have four main packs that I use on a fairly regular basis. The first one is my Geigerig 700. It is a 12 liter pack, and although it can be used for many things, its primary purpose is hydration. It has a very advanced hydration engine in it. So if I'm just going out for a fast, hot hike, or I'm riding my bike, and all I'm really concerned about is packing a couple of snacks and keeping hydrated, this is a perfect pack for that. However, if I'm going for, say, a long day hike, I need more pack volume. I typically don't want to just bring a couple of snacks and water on a full day hike. I'm going to be keeping some things in the pack that I don't necessarily need, but that I want to make sure I have. And so for that purpose, I have the Osprey Talon 22. Although the Geigerig and the Osprey might look about the same size, this one is actually a 22 liter pack. It's almost twice the volume of the Geigerig, even though they weigh the same, about 28 and a half ounces. But what if I'm not just going on a day hike? Once you decide to spend the night outdoors, your gear needs change rather dramatically. You're gonna need shelter. That means a tent or a hammock setup or something like that. You're gonna be sleeping, that means a quilt or a sleeping bag, sleeping pad, maybe a pillow. It's gonna mean bringing a lot more water, a lot more food, stove, and fuel for the stove, and a lighter. So just by extending your hike by one extra day, you have quite a bit more gear you need to carry. And so for that kind of purpose, I have the Mountain Smith Zerk 40. It's a 40 liter pack with much more cushioned, high-end suspension to carry that extra weight. And even though it carries twice as much as the Osprey, which itself carries almost twice as much as the Geigerig, the Mountain Smith Zerk 40 actually weighs a little bit less than either one of them. Some people could probably go several days in this 40 liter pack, depending on the kind of gear they use. However, what if you don't have a lot of ultralight gear or you're gonna be going out for multiple days? Food and water are two of the very heaviest things that you have to carry with you on a backpacking trip. And in some places, you need to carry that food in a bear canister. All of that means more volume and a lot more weight. So for a multi-day trip, or one in which I have to carry a lot of heavy equipment, I have the Osprey Atmos AG50. And the reason I have this pack is not just because I get 10 more liters than the Zerk 40, it's also because it's got a big padded hip belt with wraparound webbing, super padded shoulder straps, lots of adjustments. The pack was designed for carrying a very heavy load and it's gonna do a lot better with either heavier equipment or a lot more food or water. So, although someone who maybe hasn't done very much hiking isn't going to be able to tell much of a difference between several of these, the differences between these packs can be the difference between a good, comfortable, safe trip and one that is miserable or even potentially dangerous. Just because each one of these back here is called a backpack does not mean that it is really the same kind of gear. And just like the right tool for the right job, you want the right gear for the right trip. So can you ever have too many backpacks? Well, I would say that if you have two backpacks that essentially fulfill the same functions, you might want to consider your reason for keeping both of them. Now, one very good reason for keeping both of them is to loan out to others. One of the most significant barriers to entry into the hiking world 
is the gear. There's a lot of it. It's expensive. There are so many decisions to make. So it's a great idea for people that are new to hiking to try out other people's gear, kind of figure out what they like and don't like before they go out and spend a lot of money. Further, if you have someone that just wants to go on one trip with you, it's kind of nice to be able to loan them a pack. I actually have redundant packs in several of these categories for that specific reason. I have a wife and four kids and friends, and it is nice to be able to loan out equipment if they need it. However, if you start to see yourself as building a collection rather than a selection of gear, you might have an issue. A totally rad issue, but still an issue. Alright, I hope this video has been informative to you. If it has, I would love it if you would click that like button. Give me some comments on your packs. What do you keep? What do you carry? And if you are interested in the subjects of hiking, backpacking, and camping, and gear for those things, Click subscribe and click that bell notification if you want to know the next time I drop a video. Until next time, I'm Doug. Take it easy.